What's going on guys? It's Colt here at uh, Triple D's. So Dalton's Dragon Drift. And I'm gonna show you all how to build a bushing press. So this is just out of some basic shit you can go pick up at uh, Ace Hardware. So let me set the phone down. So, well actually let me. So I bought a piece of all thread. If you can find a bolt long enough, do it. I couldn't at my local hardware store. So I bought a piece of all thread and I bought some nuts. So it would be easier if you bought enough nuts to do a jam nut up here and then another nut I marked right here. Um, that way you don't have to worry about this spinning uh, while you're, you know, pressing on this side. So, but I did not buy enough nuts. So I'm going to weld this nut on and then this green mark here so i measured the distance i need so from this mark to the head of what will, will be a bolt uh, that's gonna be the press the knuckle and then the socket and then the bushing so well technically it'll go socket bushing knuckle press so that way, your nut down here with some washers will, as you tighten it, press the bushing into the knuckle. So it's pretty neat how it works, um, but I'll go through the steps. So let me go grab my welder real quick so I can, you know, tack this on. And, well, actually what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna run this down, because I have to cut this off and I wanna make sure that I'm gonna be able to thread onto it. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so now that I've got that ran down there, uh, I can put this one on. And right there, it's gonna be good. All right, so let me go grab my welder and I'll get uh, a couple welds on this. Okay, so I've got everything set up for me to weld. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and figure out where I can put the camera uh, and it'll stay stationary. So let's get to that. All right, so that's kind of like the best I could do because it's the only hands I got, so let me get to welding this. Usually wear gloves, um, but I'm not. So. Help if I had some power. It's a little spicy. Yeah, that should be good. And just for comfort's sake, because I really don't want to break this off during the job, I'm going to do a couple tacks on the bottom. done uh let me flip this around so here's the tacks on the bottom so they're not great but it's whatever it's i mean i'm not doing like a welding competition you know what i'm saying so come on focus and then i don't know if it's gonna 
All right, this is a new camera. I'm still learning it. Anyway, so... And that's the top, and the top really doesn't matter either. I mean, I could grind it down smooth, but I really don't care, so... Pull that off. And now I'm going to cut. Surely you don't need to watch me cut on the green line. Just try and cut as straight as possible, and then round off the edge. That way, it'll be a little bit easier for you not to get on and off. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I've got the edges rounded off on it. So that nut should come off real, real easy. I'm gonna go cool this down real quick so I can go ahead and lay hands on it because I really don't have a lot of time to waste. I have a drift event tomorrow. I need to get this bushing switched out. All right, now that I got it cooled down, let's go ahead and uh, try and thread this. Got a little resistance. All right, so it's off and throw it back on. Make sure we're all good there. Okay, now for the real fun stuff. So you're gonna go ahead and throw your two washers on there. Uh, you can do more if you want. I did two, two almost really, it struggled. So two washers, uh, then next will be your press. So let's go do that. Okay, the back of the car is a mess. I've been keeping all the tools here because, I mean, I just keep reusing stuff. So when I'm calling a press, so this is a ball joint press. Okay, you're going to take this part of the ball joint press and you're going to use it. So and it's going to be really beneficial. Uh, it makes this whole thing work. I rented it from AutoZone. So go ahead and like that. Okay, so here's this. And then next we're going to need this little coupling right here. Best to give you space for the bushing to press off into. Next will be the bushing itself. I might need two hands for that. Okay, so reminder, I'm pushing the old one out. So what's happening is, is I'm gonna have some washers with a socket over here and it's gonna push through the knuckle and it's gonna let the old bushing fall into here. And that's how you're gonna get it out. So, and then it's kind of the reverse as far as putting it back in. I just wanted to give you a little demonstration on that. So we've got this. All right, so next we're gonna need the socket, which is a inch and a 16th, this bad boy right here. And let's see, I need nothing, two more washers, which are in the garage. All right, so there's the bushing and it's no good. So I'm gonna pause it for a minute so I can take this bolt out. Um, on a 350Z, it'll be a 17 millimeter. So, uh, and the new bolt is a 17 millimeter, but the new nut is a 19 millimeter. But yeah, let me get this pulled out real quick so I can show you all how this works. Okay, so this is what it looks like set up. So the inch and the 16th socket for the Z, I mean, it's hard to see in there right now, is the perfect size for this upper shock bushing. Um, and then I've got the open end of the wrench on there. And then there's the sleeve and there's the part of the ball joint. So all I do is I'll slowly torque or tight this down with the impact and I'll watch it pop through. So. Let me see if I can't set my phone up to where you guys can see that too. I don't know if you can see that. Hmm. There we go. You might be able to rock with that. find out my little impact it probably isn't gonna do this it only has maybe 200 foot pounds it's a little weak thing so we're gonna be doing this old-fashioned right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this thing a couple turns and then re-update you a couple turns re-update so until I'm able to do this with one hand which might be now the wrench 
locked in. Oh. The last time I did this with a half inch drive, but I've already got the 3 8 one jammed on there. So we're just gonna rock with it. Should have thought of this sooner. Cheetah pipe. two hands put it on. By the way, it's like 95 here, and sun's beating directly on my back. I got a good little sweat going. We almost got her. I'm gonna put the camera down. Y'all get the point right now. All right, this is the last few turns it should be. So, and that's how you remove it with a homemade tool.